Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So this is the Makeotronics R58 Mini PC. So this is my main desktop and I had to reinstall it because I had a bug with the HDMI audio. So there is a new rock chip kernel out. So 5.10.160 and here the HDMI audio should be fixed. So I had to reinstall everything. So I thought why not film the whole process so I can show other people how to do it. So I am using Monka Bliat his images. He builds images with the drivers included. So the VPU driver and the GPU drivers. And there is also Armbian Gaming pre-installed. So that is pretty nice. So to find his images we go to monka.systemonachip.net And there he's got images for the Kados H2, the Indydroid Nova, Orange Pi 5, the Mekotronics R58 Mini and Mekotronics R58X, Raksha 0, Raksha 02, Rock 5A and the Rock 5B. So what I want are these latest images from the 22nd of May. So I installed that on my Mikotronics Mini. To know how to install this on the Mikotronics, I've got another video about that. So let's start with it. So it took 1 hour and 50 minutes for me to install everything. But I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible. So to start first 2 times a root password. I choose bash. Nico D and 2 times password. Nico D, I choose no. 74, 7, 6, 1. That's what I want. I want it in English, but I am Belgian. So I log in. So as you see, we have got GNOME on Wayland, but no Ubuntu on Wayland. I do not like the GNOME on Wayland desktop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is of course sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. And when that is done, I will install the Ubuntu desktop. That one is better for me. I can use all my tools. So sudo apt install Ubuntu dash desktop. And I am going to choose GDM3 just because I like it more. And once that is installed, I can log out and log back in with the Ubuntu desktop. So here I select the desktop that I want. So Ubuntu on Wayland or Ubuntu default is the same. Let's go to the settings, change the background image. This looks nice. Then appearance, auto hide the dock, icon size to 40 and I put it on the bottom. That's how I want it. Change my keyboard because I'm using a Belgian keyboard. I'll open the terminal. First I'm gonna change my keyboard for the console. So sudo armbin-config there to personal. And here also change the keyboard. That way when I log in I will have a Belgian keyboard. So now that is done I can start installing programs. So sudo apt install gnome-shell-extensions gnome-shell-extension manager gnome disk utility gnome system monitor console my favorite terminal emulator transmission for torrent files thunderbird for my email nautilus share nautilus extension gnome console this is so we can open the console in our folder nautilus admin to open folders as admin vlc kodi and mpv mpv is my movie player so let's install all that so now we have got all that i will start with the setup so i open the extension manager and i install the applications menu places status indicator and the date and time formatter i search for monitor and there I add resource monitor. Then I search for Freon. And I add Freon. Freon is to show the temperature. I set up my resource monitor for one second. I show the frequency. 
RAM I can leave on, swap is off, disks I remove that so it is more clear what I see. Only Ethernet because I am using Ethernet, no terminal here. So that's how I like my system monitor. I see my temperature, I see what my CPU is doing. So that is good. So now let's take a look at what is installed now. So there's not that much installed yet. So now let's open console and I will add it to the favorites. Chromium, add it to the favorites. Gnome disks, add to the favorites. Transmission. I open Google, I search for ARM card downloads. Not here, but here it is, ARM card. So I go to downloads. This is my Discord manager. So Linux and ARM64 dep. I browse to my download folder, so CD downloads. And I install ARM card. So sudo dpkg-i ARM card dep. Once that is installed, I open it and I also add it to my favorites. And now I open console and I create a new profile. I call it NicoD. I make it default profile. Apply and in appearance I change the fonts to 14 because 9 is way too small for me. So that is good. That's how I want it. Now we can open Armbin Gaming. So to do that, we type nicod armbin gaming and it downloads Armbin Gaming automatically, the latest version. It also updates the script if something has changed. And here we install everything. So a few things have been added, so like DuckStation for PS1 emulation and Aether SX2 for PS2 emulation. So we start with Box64. And then we install box 86. So now you can choose what sock you are building for. So I am building for the RK3588. So after box 64 I install box 86. And then I install wine x86. And then I had to change a few things in Armbian Gaming. So you can see the process here. So I opened GitHub and I went to the armbiangaming.sh file. And I added a few things to install with wine tricks. I did make a mistake, but I did see it when I installed it. So it is a tip from Wonka Bliat. So if I now run nicod armin gaming again, then the script will be updated. So now I can install wine tricks. So first, after the wine x86 installation, it exits armin gaming. This so you can do wine, wine cfg, this configures the wine installation and after that you can install wine tricks. This will take a very long time. And if it gets stuck at the end then you use this wine server dash k to kill the wine server. That will unstuck it. All the rest of Armbian Gaming is very simple. Then accept Malier Droid. So after it is compiled, it shows you what you have to do. So ADB connects localhost and then screen copy dash S localhost. And like that you can open it. Then we go to settings in Android. There to information, there to language, there change language, English, drag English to the top. And like that Malier Droid is set up. The rest of Armbian Gaming doesn't need no explanation. So I will not show you all that. So we are almost done. One thing that doesn't work yet is DRM contents with Chromium. So let me show you an example. VRT.be That's our Belgium national television. And I cannot watch these videos right now because I do not have DRM enabled. So it is simple to do. So first you open Chromium, then you close it again. So sudo apt install libvdivine cdm. We install that. Then we again open Chromium and we again close it. And then we again open Chromium 
and now we can play DRM content. Mijn vraag is eigenlijk of dat zij met z'n twee naar de kamer van Vida. And there is one program that I have forgotten. So LibreOffice. So sudo apt install LibreOffice. And with that I am ready with my whole setup. So this was one hour and 50 minutes work that I put in a 10 minute video. With this I've got all my gaming apps. I've got perfect video playback. I can watch DRM content on Chromium. I've got all my apps. I've got the configuration like I want it. So this is my ideal installation. And maybe in the future I will see to make it that you can download these images fully installed. Thank you to Monka Briad for the images. Thank you to Ricardo Pardini for all his help with Armbian Gaming. Thank you all for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, maybe become a Patreon member. Thank you, see you all later, bye.